When I think of the ocean, I think of water. And then I and then I travel here and I look out and even though it confirms my earlier suppositions, I'm still shocked by the amount. There's so much water in the ocean that a person could not drink it in an, in one entire lifetime. Not that you could drink it anyway, since it's salt water, but it gives you an idea. The Atlantic Ocean is most commonly associated with being east of the Americas and west of Europe and the African continent, with the Pacific Ocean as being the opposite. And this is perhaps the easiest way to tell the two apart. So, if I'm facing this way and the ocean's here, then that's the Atlantic. Uh, and if I'm over here, facing this way, and the ocean's there, then that's the Pacific. Unless I'm in Europe, and then that's the Atlantic, and that's um, Russia, France, Germany. With all these variables, I like to distinguish my oceans by taste. The Pacific is known more for its fishy aspects, while the Atlantic has distinctively citrusy characteristics. This is how sailors would navigate the seas before Greenwich Mean Time and the invention of the compass. Indeed, even within each ocean is a, a large variety of flavors. Near Europe, more lemony, by Africa, there's a grapefruit taste, and of course the Americas are famous for um, for an orange flavor. Now these differences were very subtle, uh, and and yet very important ones because the test of a true seaman was very much about his sense of taste. Both oceans, they're very, very salty. The method you want to use is that you, you try to seek to identify the flavor that's um, underneath the common identifier. My guess is uh, this is definitely the Atlantic. So much of my life has been about being above sea level. I often wonder, have I been missing out? Or were our ancestors on to something when the first dolphins came on land? Speeches like this one, where we see the first evidence of the, the original dolphin family unit. They came here because of the dunes, and uh, it was against these that they built their rudimentary homes. We've even found evidence of, of early cookware, including utensils. Though, they had not yet invented the fork. On the one hand, they're only 30 feet away, 
from their old homes. On the other hand, this could not have been a more radical break from their past. Water for air. Plankton for fruit berries. Fins for hands. Certainly this would not happen overnight, or even over two nights. It would take centuries upon centuries before we evolved into our most human characteristics. And of course, some of the early settlers went back into the sea. And even today, those who stay closest to shore remain our greatest swimmers. So today, one wonders, is this pool we have to the ocean a longing to reconnect with our ancestral birthplace? Perchance, we'll spot a dolphin out at sea. Maybe the two of you will spot each other's eye and share an ever brief moment before your ancient cousin dies back in the sea and you lay out your beach towel. I saw one, but uh, it, was, uh, it was just some driftwood. I can't stay here all day. 